Good morning, guys. It's uh, Paul here. I'd like to talk to you guys about a dream I just had. It's quite early. <laughs> I just finished raining, so it's a nice morning. Beautiful Sabbath day. Um, this has to be one of the most interesting dreams I've had. Not for, not for the content so much as how brilliantly explained it was shown to me. So I would say that I saw this in spirit because I didn't have any contact with anybody. I was brought to a community that seemed like mountainside. I don't know where this took place, but um, what it was, it was what I would call you got nowhere to hide. So the people of this dream were living their lives just the way anybody else would. And things started to happen like I, I was in what looked like a small community center and a person was searching for their phone they couldn't find their phone and it seemed that I was witnessing uh, there was organized people walking around like pickpockets taking people's digital footprint items like their cell phone and then they would later go and get them that was the first part and then uh, I saw I started witnessing, it, it was just weird, like the, the view would pan over areas and suddenly I saw a lot of old cars. So during the dream, it started dawn on, dawning on me that these were people potentially that were hiders or, or trying to not be found by a digital di the footprint. So I saw old cars from the 50s, 60s, and even the 70s, some 80s. But it was, it was nothing that had like a digital footprint in it the way vehicles do now with plug-in, you know, and digital clocks and all that stuff. So again, this was an organized area of people that were trying not to be found. So as the dream progressed, I saw more and more people in group settings. Like one person would go like a scout to find somebody, knock on their door, and then there'd be like, a group of people waiting to pounce on them and then the next time the scene would start again I would see them acting like one of them and then another part that was kind of cool is um, I started noticing that the ones that were they looked like a hive mind and they were controlled they had this weird makeup on so it again I started having these thoughts during the dream like Maybe these were AI robots or something because I, at first I was noticing it was the women, but then there was men too. But it was just weird. It was like the makeup was put on their skin in such a dark way, it just didn't look natural. And for any guy like me who grew up, I grew up in the 70s and the 80s, but there was a time period where people put a lot of makeup. I used to call it the Motley Crue look. Women would put like a white, um, I don't even know what it's called, a white base. And they would put like their cheeks and it just looked terrible. Even at the time it looked terrible. But um, in the dream, this is how all the women were dressed, you know. And, and that's another thing I forgot to mention. In this community area, there seemed to be a high group of indigenous people. So I don't know if this was off, you know, the beaten pat and in close to the mountain setting. But it was it was a small community which if I was to just throw out a name to guess would be like Alaska or something, you know? So anyway, as the dream progressed, uh, it was always the same pattern. Like they were trying to get a digital footprint of you. They were trying to get your phone number, your address, and everybody else that had been caught or turned over, it was 100% a hive mind. So that was the dream and I woke up at 7.46, which I believe is a Matthew 24, 21. I'll put it up to, to share what it means. I believe it's a warning of the beginning of the worst time in the world it will be beginning. So I, I think, I used to think too, like that when it would just happen overnight, you know, like an earthquake and then that was, the, and it might, it might actually be like that. But I believe there'll be a period before that'll be very daunting and very um, uncomfortable for hiders and anybody that just won't accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. So anyway, that's what I wanted to share. 
I haven't seen you guys in a while, and um, love you guys. God loves you more. Bye.